fasting, probably one of the most powerful tools to help combat our metabolic problem. Fasting has been pivotal in my journey. It helped me make this transformation. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over different methods of fasting. Also, I'm gonna talk about different ways that you can mimic fasting through diet. What do I mean by mimic fasting? Bringing those blood sugar levels low. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Daniela Joy and I made this transformation on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting style, which is basically fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window or fasting for 23, 24 hours in a day and eating within a one hour eating window. I lost the majority of my weight with Keto OMAD, let's keep that in mind. Keto is another way that you can have a fast mimicking diet in terms that it brings your blood sugar levels down. I lost the weight through a lot of chronic pain. I was metabolically ill. I had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. I had thyroid issues. I was a hot mess. And the reason why this happened was because of our toxic food environment. We're learning more and more every day that the toxicity in our food, whether it be food that is manipulated genetically, whether it be food loaded with chemicals, you go buy a piece of bread, just name a popular cheap bread band, brand, and you look at the chemicals in it and you're like, this isn't food. It's a chemical pie. We do not know how these chemicals are interacting with the human body. We are seeing it manifest in many ways. We're having ideas because we're getting these modern day diseases, but we truly don't know the impact of these foods. So I'm a big, big believer in eating whole foods. I'm not a big believer in fasting and eating garbage. Yes, once upon a time on my weight loss journey, I did talk about losing weight with, you know, doing a fast and then eating like crappy food. I've now since changed my stance on all of that. I don't believe in that. At the time I was getting coaching, but I strongly believe the way to do it is learning how to eat whole foods. You can use fasting as a tool to get your body metabolically reset. What am I mean by that? When we are consuming these toxic foods, what happens is we destroy our metabolic health. We destroy our mitochondria. Mitochondria that is sluggish and destroyed, this is what happens to us. We get symptoms of brain fog. We get symptoms of being tired all the time. We get symptoms of increased hunger all the time. When our mitochondria is damaged, it results in um, us having continuous glucose spikes. In fact, it is the continuous glucose spikes that we get from processed foods, mainly processed carbohydrates, that cause us to damage our mitochondria. Not only that, those continuous glucose spikes that we have when we eat this crap food causes us to be hungry. And this is why we're seeing obesity levels of levels we've never seen before. It is the transition to foods that are not native to the human body that is causing this. Usually we have satiety signals. These are signals that tell us to stop eating. Processed carbohydrates overcome those satiety signals because they are not like carbohydrates in nature. Carbohydrates in nature are always found with fiber. They're always found with other things that will tell our body that we are full. When we have processed carbs, we bypass that signal and it makes us hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. It spikes our glucose levels, gets us out of control, not just with weight, but in a whole bunch of metabolic ailments. Anyway, in today's video, I wanna go over different fasting methods to help correct that metabolic damage and to put you on a path to weight loss success. So sustainable weight loss through fasting can be done if it's done with the correct approach. I'm gonna talk about the first method, which is known as intermittent fasting. This is fasting 16 hours a day throughout the day and eating within an eight hour window. This is a start. This is where I tell most people to start off is with a 16 hour fast. If you're going from eating all throughout the day out of control, it will be start with a 16 hour fast. So this means stop eating at eight o'clock PM at night and then have your first meal at noon. It's about skipping breakfast. Doesn't matter how you do the fast, you can do the fast in another way where you don't skip breakfast, but maybe you have an early dinner. Stop eating around four o'clock p.m., fast until 8 a.m. the next day. You can do it that way. It doesn't matter how you do the fasting, just make it stick for you. Another method of fasting 
intermittent fasting is the 18-6 method. This is fasting for 18 hours a day and eating within a six hour eating window. The powerful method of this one is that it puts you in a state of ketosis. Our body goes into ketones or ketones are detected in our blood around 17 hours of fasting. Not only that, it's about 15 to 17 hours depending on the science. Not only that, you are also in a state of autophagy. Why is autophagy important? Autophagy is basically our cells healing itself. So from all of the damage and all of the stress our cells have been through with the processed carbs, the crappy food, and the lack of movement, autophagy is our cells way of healing itself. It's our way of cells of healing and balancing itself out. So you'll get some mitochondria healing in there. And when you have autophagy, it helps us to correct the imbalances that have been caused by our diet. Listen, the human body is very powerful. Change can happen. We can reverse the metabolic damage that has occurred. Just there are methods of doing it without having to inject yourself with some, you know, some drug that will suppress your appetite. When you can do it naturally with fasting. And not only that, when you do it naturally with fasting, you gain the discipline as well. Another method of fasting is the 20 hour fast, also known as one meal a day or the warrior fast. Now there's two versions of one meal a day. I like to call 20 hours or more fasting, also known as OMAD. This is a more lenient version of OMAD. So you fast for 20 hours a day and you eat within a four hour eating window. When I say eat within a four hour eating window, I do not mean you're eating throughout that entire four hour eating window. No, you break your fast with a light meal, a 400 calorie meal, wait a couple hours and then have the rest of your calories and be done two to three hours before bed. That is key. You want to eat two to three hours before bed because you don't want to eat and then go to bed. You want to give your body a chance to digest that food. Also, you want to go to bed with low insulin levels. If you are going to eat that meal at night, make sure your meal is high in fat and protein and low in, pro there should be no processed carbohydrates, but if you're going to eat the processed carbohydrates, please eat them earlier in the day or around your workout. Another method of fasting is the 24 hour fast. This is a good fast. The 24 hour fast is where you're going to get some gut reset going on. So you're gonna reset the micro microbes in your gut. It is a great first long-term fast to start off with. My, I remember doing my first 24 hour fast and I felt like I was on top of the world. Once you are comfortable with the 24 hour fast, you can jump to the 36 hour fast. The 36 hour fast is known as the fat burning fast. This is where you burn those deep storage fat that cannot be stored. This is where that cannot be burned. And this is also where you start going for those deep storage sugar. This is called the fat burning fast because at 36 hours you get maximum fat burning. The next type of fast is known as the 48 hour fast. This is called the gut reset fast or the dopamine reset fast. So with this fast, when I say gut reset fat fast, this is the fast where your body starts to produce stem cells in the gut. Not only that, your dopamine receptors get restored. So it's also called the mental health fast. This is a great fast. It's a powerful fast. It's a fast where you can drop a lot of weight. It's a fast where you can feel good overall. The next fast is the 72 hour fast, also known as the immune system reset fast. This is the fast where you are producing max stem cells overall. This is also the fast where you reset your immune system. This is a great fast to do just before the oncoming flu season because you're gonna help prime your immune system ready to fight. It's also a solid fast to burn stubborn fat. Other methods of fasting, also known as alternate day fasting, which is a 36 hour fast every other day. These type of fasting methods, I highly recommend doing it short term. I don't believe in doing rolling fast all the time because rolling fasts do not teach you how to eat properly. You're gonna put yourself in a situation where you're gonna have to depend on rolling fasting. And I strongly believe in metabolic flexibility, which is the ability to go in and out of fasting. That's where the power has. I always say this on my channel, the power with all this is learning how to lose weight with multiple methods. You should learn how to lose weight with fasting and without fasting. You should know how to lose weight with carbs and without carbs. 
which leads me to another method of bringing those insulin levels down, which is the key to weight loss. The key to weight loss is bringing insulin levels down. How do you do this? Fast ways to do this is through fasting. The next best way to do this is through a low carb diet. A low carb diet, a keto diet to be specific, eating high fat, moderate protein, low carb, that will bring your insulin levels down. Another way to do it is to do it with high protein, carbs 100 grams or less, May, most of your carbs are coming from fruits and vegetables. Now, if fasting is in your game, do this. Just eat real food. Get your, your calories from meats and vegetables that are not processed and fruits as well. If you're eating like a whole food, high fiber, high protein, high fat diet, you are going to let your body go through its natural satiety system. You're not going to Balloon, avoid processed carbohydrates like the plague. Avoid it on your weight loss journey. Trust me, it will make life easier. Try eating in as much as possible. If you have to eat out, find a healthy food chain. I know there are healthy food chains I go to. There's Chopped Leaf here in Calgary. I like to do that. Um, that's a good option. And there's other options that you can do as well. So keep that in mind. So when it comes to weight loss, everyone, it's keeping that glucose level down, keeping those insulin levels down. How do you do it? You can do it through fasting. You can do it through eating whole foods. You can do it through exercise, building muscle as well. When you're building muscle, you are also making yourself more insulin sensitive. That is the key to all of this. Avoid processed carbohydrates, eat whole foods. I hope this video was elaborate enough. I kind of did it. I'm doing these videos off the top of my head. If you made it this far into the video, if I can talk properly, please drop in the word yes. And I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.